Good morning. Today is Tuesday, November the 8th, and our lesson this morning is the glory of God return. And our lesson is coming from Ezekiel, the 43rd chapter, the first verse through the ninth. And the scripture lesson text, Afterward he brought me to the gate, even the gate that looketh toward the east. And behold, the glory of the God of Israel came from the way of the east. And his voice was like a noise of many waters, and the earth shined with his glory. And it was according to the appearance of the vision which I saw, even according to the vision that I saw when I came to destroy the city. And the vision were like the vision that I saw by the river Sadar. And I fell upon my face, and the glory of the Lord came into the house by the way of the gate the gate whose prospect is toward the east. So the Spirit looked, took me up and brought me into the inner court, and behold, the glory of the Lord filled the house. And I heard him speaking unto me out of the house, and the man stood by me, and he said unto me, Son of man, the place of my throne and the place of the soles of my feet, where I will dwell in the midst of the children of Israel, forever, and my holy name shall be the house of Israel. No more defile neither they nor their kings by their whoredom, nor by the cockatrices of their kings in their high places, in their setting of the of their threshold by my threshold, and their post by my post, and the wall between me and them, they have even defiled my holy name by their abominations that they may have committed. Wherefore, I have consumed them in my anger. Now let them put away their whoredom in the carcasses of their kings far from me, and I will dwell in the midst of them forever. Amen. This lesson is very strong and very powerful. Reminding us of the time when we were filled with the Holy Ghost. When we were filled and received spiritual awakening in our soul. This is what he's, to me, is going through. The, the awakening of the Spirit of the Lord within himself. And it goes on to give the, the area and the time of where he is at in a particular manner that we have to remember the things that are done in our life in a particular time, in a particular manner. And as he went forth and the Spirit brought him up into another area, as we go forth and do the will and the work of the Lord, He can bring us to another area in our Christian walk with Him. That, But He must abide within us. We must allow our spirit to awaken to Him because He's there, He's there continuously, and all we have to do is to seek Him day and night. Bring to remembrance as we wake up in the morning, thank Him for the day, and begin to put on the whole arm of God that will protect us from all troubles and trials and tribulations, protect us through all situations that we deal with. It doesn't say that we won't have troubles and trials and situations. It says uh, in the scripture that it rains on the just as well as the unjust. So we will deal with those things, but we must not carry the throne of Jesus Christ in our life and the devil there too. That's when he says uh, in the uh, and he said and he said unto me son of man the place of my throne and the place of the soles of my feet where I dwell in the midst of the children of Israel forever and my holy name shall be the house of Israel no more defile neither they nor their kings in the setting of the threshold and their post by my post and the wall between me and them. Just a wall. Yet and still, it, to me, I take that wall as we go to church on Sunday, we praise the Lord, and then Monday we 
forget all about what blessings we have received, how he has touched us and opened our eyes to different situations in our life. And we lose ground by turning loose. I'm going to read you a short passage from the Matthew Henry Concise Commentary. It said, After Ezekiel had surveyed, surveyed the temple of God and had a vision of the glory of God, when Christ crucified and the things freely given to us of God through him are shown to us by the Holy Ghost, they make us ashamed for our sins. This frame of mind prepares us for fuller discoveries of the mystery of of redeeming love and the whole of the scriptures should be opened and applied that men may see their sins and repent of them. That we see, that we notice, that we take note and we work to change. We may not change today and we may not change tomorrow, but we continue to work toward it. And that we make an effort, the Lord will help us. I pray that you meditate on this lesson today and y'all have a blessed day.